Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about our $2 million home theater project. Big, big room. So big project and uh, we posted it on our website over the holidays so you can kind of look at what we've gone through with the speaker setup and, and the array system and, and how we've, we've worked that to distribute the energy evenly throughout the room. But uh, first off, let, let's just have a little fun and, and do a comparison. This graphic that I'm going to show you right now is a standard size room that's, let's say, 17, 10, 23, the standard control room size that we use. And let's don't worry about the axial, tangential, and oblique modes. Let's just look at all the lines on the graph. And look at the lines on this graph of this 17, 23, 10 room. You can see the longest are axial. You can see the next longest are tangential, oblique. They're all clustered together. There's so many of them, you can't even see between them, okay? Now, let's look at the graph of another room that's 40, 20, 60. No lines, okay? So there's your difference when you have room size and volume. I'm always saying room size and volume, room size and volume. I know you're tired of hearing it, but there's your empirical evidence why bigger is usually better. Now, in this case, we had to go bigger because look, we have 30 seats. This is a big home theater, okay? Must be a big family, don't know the details. But the bottom line here is we have a lot of seats. So the first thing, when we have lots of seats, we want to make sure everybody that's in the audience can hear everything at the same time. The front row doesn't have a sonic privilege over the back row, like in church, you know? So we want a nice, even distribution, and you can look at the, the project page and see the distributions we came up with in the audience. Another big thing, 20-foot screen, big, okay, so a big, big screen. It has to be big because we have 30 seats. Here's another thing. This is going to be a, a Dolby Atmos system, so 30 channels. Can you imagine? I mean, we have 5.1, 7.1, 10, 11.1 we see all the time. This is going to be 30.8 because we're going to have eight 18 inch subwoofers. Lots of energy, okay? Client wants lots of low frequency impact, okay? That's why we have the room size and volume we have, and that's why we're going to talk about our double carbon walls shortly. So we have eight subs. We're going to hit really high pressure levels in this room. You can imagine with eight 18 inch subwoofers. So in these animations that we see all the time, there's big explosions. You know, someone's always banging into something, cutting something with a sword or flying through the air. There's lots of impact. There's lots of dynamics, lots of percussion, if you will. So we're going to have really high pressure levels. Another primary objective of the project was no noise transmission. So we've had to design a wall with an STC of 90. It's a massive structure, 12 to 13 inches deep. But here's the big thing for us, the carbon walls. We're going to have two walls because look, we have pressure levels that are very, very high. When we design rooms, and, and you've all taken advantage of our design service, when we design rooms, you know, we, we target pressure levels 85, 90 in that range. Well, this is a whole new game as you can see. So we've doubled up our carbon technology into the walls and we're going to have two walls. We're going to have one wall of our ACDA 10 and one wall of our ACDA 12. We're also going to push it a little bit farther. You know our carbon filters are three to five inches on average in depth. So we're able to regulate the rate of absorption by varying the thickness of the carbon. So I don't know what it's going to end up being. We haven't finalized the numbers yet, but just know if you face a similar situation with lots of energy, we have the ability to get different rates because this is what? We know this is 30 to 300 on the low side. This is 30 to 50 on the narrow side. And then we can vary the depth 
of our carbon filter to add to a, a more increased rate. So we get the frequency and we control the amplitude with the uh, thickness of the filter. So we got a lot of flexibility is the point here. So we're going to have two walls. We're about 12 inches here, 12 inches here, probably a one inch airspace between them. So that gives you an idea of the project. Uh, we'll probably be six, eight months uh, building it and, and uh, going through it uh, constantly. So we'll definitely uh, take pictures and do a video when it's finished. But big project for us. We're very, very excited because we get to employ our uh, carbon technology at a very high pressure level. So we're, we're excited about that. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.